Hey guys, this is Man Shark Sub LPs. I'm Sub, this is Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus, and this is episode 16, I believe, of our little playthrough. So, let's just have a look at things. Um, we have recently upgraded our guys in the, at the end of last episode, so I'm quite fine with how that is. Um, one thing of note, remember how we disabled the Awakening Gauge up here? It may still be present. I don't know um, whether this has been removed or um, whether it's just playing silly buggers with us, but normally it appears here as well and you, you can actually measure your progress along it. These are all the missions that were done by the way, how much awakening levels you got during that mission, all that sort of thing. So you can see when we hit 5 it really starts jumping. I somehow I don't think that it's active because otherwise the green would be around here. Uh, in the normal game when this gets full you're forced into this fight right here which is not something you really want to be forced into if you don't have the capacity for it. Particularly seeing as we still have um, everybody's level 2 so we still have a third level of the troops to unlock as well as the two Castellans and of course two more tech priest slots. So let's see. I think last episode we did have a bit of a note that this might be our next mission. Or this one because I mean big fucking robot guys. Um, I'd be down for that. I kind of wonder if that's what it means by cognition canister though. Alternatively, we could do this one, that's not too bad, we'd actually fight Lishgard and work out what the hell's going on with them. Uh, absolute power, again, that's one we could do, we'd get Vanguard level 3, we use Vanguard, so could be useful for us. This is shit. And this one, of course, would be useful, but we're facing up against a whole lot of different stuff. That being said, getting the Cognition Gauge to, what, 9 would be amazing. However, I feel that this would be a nice mission to do right here. We'll get a lot of Blackstone out of it. We'll get the Noise Reductor level 2, which is what we want. I just want to check something in tech real quick. There's more upgrade costs somewhere. Oh, they're talking about the slots for deployment. Let's see. Those two will be tech priests. I don't know how this is actually arranged, which is weird. But there should be f five more slots for deployment somewhere. So one, two, three, four, five. Maybe another two cognition gauges. Maybe this is another blackstone thing. There's only one more cognition gauge. A bit hard to work out. We need to use a couple more canicles. Three more canicles. Take more energy attacks. Take more physical attacks. In an unknown thing. We're not too worried about doing this. I'm sure there's an achievement for unlocking all of them, but achievements are disabled because we disabled the main gauge. Um, let's see, so... There's something here we haven't worked out what it is. There's also something here we haven't worked out what it is. There's the Sanctus canister, so there's still room for an actual... something called a Cognition canister. And these aren't all, like, joined together either. Okay, cool. And there's something here that I'm not sure what's going on. It's probably the spotlight. Alright, well, let's just get into it. Take all four tech priests. And the standard loadout. Yeah, five more slots down there for that. This is fine. We'll be facing a destroyer, some death marks, and some warriors. Our further deprivations affect our troops, Magos. Depleted adamantium tipped rounds, especially effective against Necron war forms. Adamantium supplies on the Castus Metallican are running out. You see the quandary. The quandary is indeed apparent. What can be done to improve supplies? Uh, in the tomb of Acropus, significant stashes of adamantium reported by Skatari scouts suggest denying to the enemy and claiming for our own use. If the need is judged severe enough, tech priests shall be sent to acquire this asset. Uh, decide quickly, Magos. Adamantium utilized by the tomb to fuel the motion of Acropus's armillary. It will not be there for long. Ah, 
interesting. Uh, Mascatari have postulated the adamantium stores used to fuel the amillary that Acropus built to mirror his vision of the galaxy. Whatever that amillary means to the Necrons, they're very keen on keeping it going. A uh, symbolic blow against the Acropus's amillary, a seizure of materials for Skatari use, benefit to everyone. Except to the tech priests who must risk their lives to get it. I know my Skatari are crying out for those depleted adamantium rounds. If we are successful, Nagos, you'll save a lot more lives than you risk. Alright, so... Two objectives? Yep, two objectives. One there, one there. Two additional fights. A glyph room there, and a glyph room down there, and a completely useless room down here. So, hit that, there, event, that fight. Then I think this event, this fight, this glyph, and then back. Let's see what we gotta handle. A swarm of Necron Scarabs is scuttling around. Oh yes, I think we're supposed to absolutely destroy them. Definitely not observe them, so let's obliterate. Oh, okay, maybe not that one. We have advanced the Awakening Gauge slightly. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit. Alright, let's see what our fight involves. Okay, it's a kill all. So we're actually going to get half decent deployment. Yep, there's nothing over this side. That's nice. So there's just the destroyer. Two warriors and a death mark. Destroyer moves first and probably last as well. Yep. Then that warrior. Okay, so I want my guys to be sort of back here. Because that way he shouldn't be able to fire on them in the first movement that he gets. I'm not going to deploy any troops. Also, I can't. I have no cognition. Good. Okay, because we're going to try and round the corner and just wail. So let's grab that cognition there. Um, let's see. Collect all. Yes, please. Good. I'm going to move him. Probably shouldn't use the eradication ray, but we will use the noise reductor just so that we know what his deal is. Massive energy resistance. That's not amazing for us. But we did get this guy um, some half decent stuff. So let's see. Oh, you know what? That's actually quite good. Uh, so, all energy attacks gain plus one. Then we're going to use Cognition Freedom. And the Plasma Culvert. And that takes off a point of armor from him. We killed that guy, so we get a Cognition Point. And we're going to use the Phosphor Serpenta. Just to shoot him. It's not a lot of damage, but it's enough that he should be able to be taken out by the rest of them. And then he's done. Okay. What was his armor left? Two points. Not amazing, but not awful. And everybody goes before the, um... Before the dude, so... I'm just going to march him over here and get his, uh shot off. It's not going to do any damage, but it's going to charge it, and that's important. Good. And then we'll just pop down the refractor field. And I don't think there's anything else for him to actually do. So he's good. Alright, now it's our melee guy. Now our melee guy can absolutely get into base contact. Come on, Leonardus. You are a beast. Now, what do we want to do here? That'll kill him. And then we can tap him out. 
with his uh, mecha dendrite. Not terribly concerned about killing that guy at the moment because there's no real need to. And I don't want to grab that cognition point just yet anyway. Where's the death mark going? That's good. I mean, not amazing actually. Uh, it's not bad. Get an ID on him at the very least. I mean, we also have the. Uh... Let me just check something. Okay, that's that warrior, that's that one. So give me a noise reductor on him. Seven. So we shoot him to get him to move. Ah, oh, beautiful hit. That's fine. That's even better, actually. And then I'm going to send our um, servo skull over to him. Because it will kill it. As well as gain our, co 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 our uh, cognition point. Wow, I stuttered a bit there, didn't I? Um, and he's fine for not moving. Good. I'm not deploying any troops. Kill it. Lovely. Now, if you would be so kind as to move up this way. Yeah, I'm not particularly concerned about plinking him out. We could have, but, you know, it's not super useful to us. Can we get in range to shoot that guy? Nope. Let's delay. You can delay as well. He's probably going to shoot. Yep. It's fine. All right. So we'll have him get up here. He'll infest us this guy down. Shoot with his phosphor. Mm, nice. And then... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll move him up to here, but we've got better options for taking down this guy without losing um, cognition. Because I'm pretty sure Leonardus is about to just run up and slap him. Yeah. But on his way, he's going to deliver a quick heal. We probably had more than enough cognition for this, but you know, particularly considering that that's going to just wipe that guy. And that should be it. Yep, good. Good fight. Good, clean fight. You know, you got to be clean about this sort of stuff. It's just nice, I guess. Of course, rad sensors as I've picked up a previously unknown isotope, not from the materials being sought, but something that has never been recorded in the Mensa Elementa Elementalis. Through this Vova source lies outside mission parameters, the quest for the Omnicide's knowledge encourages such discoveries be pursued. Ignore it, seek it, suspect it. Okay. So we have increased the Necron initiative, but we've reduced the Awakening Gauge by 5. That's pretty decent, I would say. We're going to reduce it even further with this fight down here. But we have a glyph room before that. Oof, a lot of them this time. That one on the right hand side, we've seen before and it's positive, it's plus initiative. This one here is a negative one, that's minus cognition. 
this here I feel that that's also a negative that's that's minus initiative again and this one here is health I want to say it's health it's health we don't need any health we don't want to lose any cognition so let's just get the initiative back to normal oh it actually swung it all the way to our advantage well that's cool let's go have a fight Not that I really use the initiative a lot, because... Okay, those look like immortals. Are they immortals? No, they're just warriors. Right. I have not seen this map. There's another thing down there that can uh, pop up. There's also one down here as well. There's definitely guys on this one. You can see them. So that's something to be wary of. There's a Deathmark. A Destroyer. Two warriors. Hmm. And we, unfortunately, go first. Which means that the death mark basically gets... Sorry, the destroyer basically gets two moves. Looks like there might be something down there as well, but I can't see anything. But down here, I definitely can see stuff there. That's a um, reinforcement section, and there's definitely two warriors down there. And there is a scanner over there that I'd like to get to. Now if we destroy it, it takes two more points away from here. If we scan it, we get more Blackstone. And I am in the mood for Blackstone. So, Jeremiah. Well, Minarius goes first, so let's deploy Minarius somewhere. He's our ranged dude, so... Probably put him there. Then it goes to... Jeremiah, who is also a bit of range, but not as much as you'd think. He's our repair guy. So we'll put him there. Ariokas can go with him and Leonardus can go with him. Are we going to deploy troops? Not at the moment. Okay. We're full of cognition, so we don't want to burn through um, anything too fast. But I'd really like to take down that death mark, so we're going to move him up here. Noise Reductor on the Destroyer, just to work out what's up with him. A lot of energy armor for him. All energy attacks gain plus one. Make it cheap for us, so we basically get a free shot with the Phosphor Serpenta. Beautiful. I don't like it, but when I put it on something... I think we're sort of putting it on one of those when we... Like, the camera perspective. And it does this thing. Oh, that's uncomfortable. Now, we do have... No, we don't actually have a shot on him. Oh! Oh, wow, it has elevation to it as well. Look at that. Nice. Uh, well, fire. Nice shot, and then grab all the cognition from over there. So he's had a good round. Um, I'm not too worried about him getting shot by anything. He, the destroyer will probably shoot him, but you know. Win some, lose some. I don't think we've got any decent shots on anything up there, so we'll move him up here. And snag a cognition point from over there. There's really nothing else that he can do, so let's find Leonidas, however. He can make it to that guy. If I... Yeah, let's pump him up a little bit. So I'm going to spend a cognition to do that which then lets us harvest a full two cognition from this source here. Then we're going to have him run up to... here. Yep. 
I don't know what stats these guys have, so put it beyond doubt. Oh yeah, I do know what stats these guys have, but it was the right decision to make. I know what stat that guy had anyway, because again, when Leonardus gets in contact with somebody, he actually IDs them. Then I'm going to burn a Cognition to put him in base contact with this warrior. And then... Grab that Cognition source. Leonardus is an absolute beast. Like... Well done. Okay, Oriochus is up. Oh, which is very good, because Oriochus might get a few interesting moves, shall we say. So let's move him up here. Last pistol to take out the death mark for good. Perfect. Now it does 8 to 10, but it has 2 resist, so it wouldn't take it down. Let's see if we can improve those odds. Does he have Cognition Freedom? Yeah, he's got Cognition Freedom. <clears throat> 7 to 9, so... 30% chance, roughly. Ah, oh, one short. You know what? I don't want him shooting any of my guys. So we're gonna servo skull him to death. beautiful. Now, he may get back up. Looking at it. Yeah, one, two, three, he will get back up. I don't want him getting back up, so I'm gonna have to move down there and poke him to death. I really don't want him getting back up. So... And how much movement do we have spare? Uh, enough that I can sort of retreat a bit. Nice. Let's see if this guy's dumb enough to... Yeah, I think we just won. <laughs> First round victory. <laughs> Nobody even... They didn't even manage to move. Unfortunately, we didn't get the free Blackstone, so... But this is nice. 150 Blackstone and... A massive reduction to the Awakening Gauge. That's really good. Okay. Um, we're following through on the plan, which is that event, that fight, that glyph, and then back to this objective. So let's see what we're dealing with right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a script of the enemy for writ into its lies of the seeds of corruption. Cryptman versus 1113. The stars and planets decorating this chamber seem to represent some form of pattern or code. It might be worth recording them given Acropus's apparent role among the Necrons of Silver Tenebri as court astronomer. Deface? Document or despoil? Made of precious metals. So we looted it. Let's see what our next fight's like. I do like that transition. Like with the Necron faces. Okay, we're still really low on the awake level, so we're not getting a lot of stuff rocking up in the fights. There's a scan point there, two turrets, ooh, a lot of turrets there, a warrior, another scan point. We've had this map just from a different angle. Death mark there, scan point there, warrior there. Okay. And who's going first? That guy, then the death mark. And here we might just delay so that the death mark has to teleport somewhere. At which point we can just shoot him. Um, Leonardus there. Ariokas behind. Not concerned about troops. Yes, we're going to delay. I 
probably going to get scarabs coming out of those too. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Alright, so. Five to six. Yeah, we can't exactly take him down in one shot, guaranteed. But we can guarantee it, so. That's what we're going to do. And of course, Cognition Freedom. But I want him to come up this way. Because we'll get him to do that scan up there. Um, we're full of that. You know what? Let's just let's just run him in. They can't shoot unless it's fair. New turn or whatever. Burn the cognition, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna have him come over here and grab this point. And spend whatever he's got left in his movement. Like so. Um, and we might as well have a swipe that doesn't cost us anything. Okay, good. No point using that. The only reason we'd use that is to actually kill that guy, but we've got plenty of actions. Um, so I'm not going to. What I am going to do is have this guy sort of... Hmm, you know what? I'll move him forward to there. It's going to phosphor him. Just so we can see what his stats are. That's good. And then I'm going to move him over here. Hang on, our cognition gauge is full. Okay. Slight change in plans. Uh, I can't really move him down to be in contact with them. Otherwise then he won't be able to use his... Uh, use the flamethrower. So instead... Because it's kind of pointless moving him in there, so let's just use the refractor field. And put him down here. Nah, still pointless to make that attack. Okay, that's fine. Leonardus. Doesn't really give a fuck about any refractor fields. kill him. Oh, and for good as well. And then, we're going to move him all the way down to the scan point. So I think there's only one Necron left, and basically we all move before him anyway. So, what of it? Grab that Cognition. Can we get him back? I mean, we can, so we will. Fuck your turrets. And I don't feel that there are any reinforcements apart from those, um... Oh no, there are sarcophagi around here. He can actually make that move. Yeah, let's do that. He'll still be in the refractor field. <clears throat> and take out the death mark. And nowhere near getting new reinforcements anyway. And... Scan him. I do want to get to that scan point, but if we can't, we'll just shoot it or something. Jeez, that thing has range? Not much considering, but you know. Okay, we're going to move him over here. Pretty sure he had cognitive cognitive freedom. He does. Now, what's this actual attack look like? Okay. So it's a wipe on him. He's not in range for that. But you know what? We can make him in range for it. Move up here. Now, what's it look like? Yeah, not not amazing from the sounds of it. 
gets blocked by that thing. Unfortunate. Yeah, there's no real way to hit both of them at once. And of course, if we hit one, we don't hit the other. But we're in range for the Phosphor now, so let's just... Let's just go hard. Um, not the eradication ready for Phosphor on him. Nice. Still not quite enough. Ah, uh, we should be able to deal with this. Yep, minus two Necron Awakening, very good. And, yeah, we'll actually get up in base contact. Hmm. Yeah, I would love to not kill him right now, but unfortunately... Well, we deal with what we've got. <clears throat> Also, I forgot to use Cognitive Freedom before the Eradication Ray. My bad. But at least our Power Axe hit here is free. And 5 of 8 Cognition isn't that bad. So, I'm not, you know, too annoyed by it. Oh, all units healed for free. Wasn't important. Good. And minus 4 away. We're almost at, like, the original Awakening level. In fact, we'll only be at Awakening level 1 when we go into that tomb, into the uh, objective. Unless something goes horrifically wrong here. Okay, so... The one on the left is an item. The one on the right is apparently positive. Ah, it's health. Okay, maybe we've got all the items. Uh, regardless, that's just made things even... Oh, excuse me. Even better for us. Because now, uh, we have full cognition. We can deploy the entire troop complement. And still have three left over. And we're at... Well, we will be at... One point of awake level. Yeah, we've been detected. I don't think that actually has an effect. This is really good for us. This mission has gone very well so far. He jinxes it. Alright, what do we got? So, to scan or destroy. One, two, three points. Cognition there. A destroyer there. A death mark there. Cognition there. Warrior there. This is a really tight map. So if we did get a lot of enemy reinforcements, it would be problematic for us. Uh, one way or the other, that Necron is going to be able to fire at shit. So we're going to put Minarius... Actually, no, not Minarius. Jeremiah, front and center, because he's the one who auto-heals. Minarius will be there. That warrior is also going to go, so we'll put Leonardus there to take care of him. And Minarius does go before the death mark, so that's a nice little thing. And I put Oriochus. <clears throat> Let's see, one, two, three. Oriochus can also be over this side of things, but there. And hopefully that'll deal with it. Um, you know what? Put Jeremiah back slightly. And we'll actually put the Servitor there. And Skatari Rangers, Skatari Vanguard. Okay, we've got reinforcements straight on. One warrior, is that it? Yep. Good. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. It gives us a cognition point, and that servitor has done his job perfectly. It's fine. Minarius needs to take out the death mark. So. First things first. Physical. That's great, actually. So I'm going to move him up to... Here? That's probably a pretty good place for him. 
We are going to pump the attacks. Because he's also going to get an eradication ray shot off on something. Plasma Colifrand, my bad. That should kill it. Beautiful. And because he's who he is, we get pretty decent uh, stuff with that. Yeah, we're going to be shooting the destroyer. Um, we're going to try not to hit the console. Because I don't need to reduce awakening level. We got a critical on that, so that's really nice for us. Get him up here. Tap out the death mark. If we're really lucky. And I don't think we are. No, we're just one shy of getting him in there. That's fine. Okay, Jeremiah's up. Jeremiah being our um, healer. Who is, at the moment, not particularly useful. So we'll command our troops to shoot. Good, it's dead. Very nice, we've taken out the most dangerous things on the field already. Um, and of course we'll just phosphor it out of the way. Sweet. Now, what else can we enjoy doing here? That Necron's gonna go... This Necron apparently does not get a go. That's weird. But also, you know, not exactly harmful to us. I don't want him to shoot anything down there because he's not exactly a accurate guy with that flamethrower of his. We will just buff our um, ranger. And that should be all that he's needed for. Get down here and scan this. Okay, we've got more guys coming in. Death mark. And he's going next. So that's... Ah, oh, it's less than ideal. Burn a cognition, we can get to him. Yeah, we got to take him out before the warriors. Just because they're just too, too restrictive. Um, 7 to 9 will probably kill him. It will kill him. He's got 7 HP. Again, Leonardus moving into base contact is amazing. It just tells us everything we want to know. If he's still got some movement left, we could actually harvest these cognition points down here. He does, so we will. Now. We know about him. We don't know about him. Now we do. And just get him to start moving back. And of course, to heal himself. He's probably not in danger of getting shot. There is going to be something coming out of that one at some point, but I don't think very soon. We'll shoot at him. Again, fine. It's a troop. And he's probably the best troop to shoot at. All right. So. Let's just move this guy over here. What do we want to do first? Two to three on one of you boys. Or do we want to do eight to ten? Does this guy have... Yeah, this guy actually has the thing where he can... Oh, excellent. Yeah, he's got the uh, opportunity thingy. Let's move him up here. I see an opportunity for us. Indeed, I see an opportunity. Eight to ten. Let's change that. Make it 9 to 11. And use Cognitive Freedom, of course. One down. And we still have our Blast Pistol to kill that guy with. Perfect. Get him into base. We use the Mechadendrite to kill it. 
this has been a really easy mission for us. I feel like we probably could have done it a long time ago. And we'll just kill that as well. Um, but honestly, the rewards weren't exactly worth it. Okay, we don't get to... We will not be able to get there. You know what? That's a lie. Let's be efficient. Come on. Get over here. We'll heal him up. Again. Every little bit of healing. Or repairing. Is good for us. And then we should actually be able to get him there. Because cognition doesn't matter at this point in time. Unless this spawns the rest of them to come out. And it'll be all like... Okay, now survive. And there we go. So we have a warrior who will have a movement. Ah, we haven't scanned that one yet. Right, that makes more sense. Well, let's use the noise reductor just so we know what that guy's about. Okay, that's fine. And then keep on moving. So I would expect at this stage, but when we scan that, we're going to get one more guy coming out of there. And then that'll kind of be it. So we're going to have a shot. Oof, nice hit. Hasn't taken him down, so we just disable him so he cannot fire his weapon. Now what's he going to do? Nothing. And our guy will now have his shot. Nope. But he doesn't have eyesight, so move him there. Done. And it was a critical as well, so he's taken down. New round. Nothing. We'll get that scan in over here. See what happens. Yep. One guy comes out of here. And it's a death mark. And we have a lot of movement left. And in fact, we just killed him. Straight up dead. So that's mission. Quite nicely done if I do say so myself. Our cohort secures location of adamantium ingots and relays its location to a team of labor servitors, which can carry the precious resource back to the tomb entrance. Cool. Our excellent news, Magos. Processing of this material begins immediately. Then the Skatari shall have the weapons they need to do their duty. My duty is done too. Keep them fed, keep them fueled, keep them armed. This is the will of the Omnisire. Yeah, that went perfectly for us. I mean, we did lose a Servitor, but Servitors don't cost us anything. And in fairness, we could have not lost the Servitor, but the result is exactly the same. Almost 300 Blackstone just from killing enemies. The Noise Reductor and the Blackstone there. Yeah. Went really well. So he probably has a new mission for us. Indeed he does. A Cognition Mechadendrite. Collect one Cognition Point. From what? I don't know how that works. Not too bad though, I mean, trade-out Praetorians are always a bit nasty. Uh, corpses of settlers were too long ago, breached for Tomb of Ubjow, made still have augmentations in Archaeotech, yeah, it's fine. So that's not a bad mission, because that's a lot of Blackstone. It is hard, though. And I really don't know how this works. I mean... Do you have to actually collect it from a proper cognition point? Because tech priests do that automatically. Or can you, like, just use it and you get a cognition point? Maybe I'll look that up in between episodes. But right now we might as well upgrade. We've got plenty of time before the hour mark and almost 2100 Blackstone. So, let's have a look at everybody. I think everyone's 15, except for oh no, Jeremiah and Minarius are 16. But Leonidas and uh, Oriochus are 15 each. So let's see about them. 
basically equipment slots. I'm pretty sure he's got decent equipment all over the place. He could use better legs, but the legs he's got on are pretty good. We don't want this one because he's already got Angered Spirit. So it'll be useless and we're not going to give him a powerful generator. Yeah, this tree holds no fruit for us anymore. This one could. But I think we already have somebody going down that tree as well. This one wouldn't be too bad. And we don't actually want him to get this one. We do want him to have a melee weapon. Um, it's just... For the plus one physical and energy armor is a good thing. 3 HP, 1 energy. I feel like he's already got that. Yeah. Over here we have 2 HP, 1 energy. 1 physical armor, 2 HP max. So the legs here could be useful. Uh, let's see. 4 HP and 1 physical armor. 2 and 2. 2 energy armor, 1 HP and 20% crit. I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to get down here, but... Neither would this. That would actually be pretty good, because he's supposed to be a killy guy. So let's get him Lex Mechanic. Now, that has increased his augments, so that he can now get the better noise reductor. But let us work out what it does before we decide to start putting it on other tech priests. Alright, where is Leonardus? Here he is. Good, he's got Traveller. Really like for him to have a bit more, um... Hang on. Two energy armor, one physical. Right, so it doesn't factor the uh, plus plus in just yet. I don't think, anyway. Yeah, no ranged weapons. Well, he doesn't have a ranged weapon equipped, so that's fine. So he should actually be at 2-3, which I feel like he was on that last mission, so... We're all good there. That's a good head augment. 1-1. One, one. And a Lex mechanic, though, which is like, do I actually want that? That would pull him down to being 3-3. Free, free. No, it wouldn't. Because 1-1 one, one would make him currently... He would have 2 physical, 1 energy. Ugh. Alright, let's try and get him something that's kind of fun. So he's got that. I would like him to have auto repair. What was his chest? 3 HP, 1 physical. The physical is very important for him because he is getting into melee. Maybe better feet? I don't know, what was the feet option? Energy. Yeah, I'd rather that he got, like, physical feet. I don't think that's an option, unfortunately, so... We are just going to go for this one so that we get that auto repair chance. Well, not even chance, just thing that happens. And we'll just get him that one, even though we're not going to have him use it. Which means he's got a spare... Um, augment slot to dump something in, and I think we don't have the better Infestus Mechadendrite yet. We don't actually have anything to give him, unfortunately. Unless we wanted to sub out the Sanctus Canister, but that's actually useful for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so he just has to stay where he is. Which is fine. Let's see if somebody else could use an upgrade. Jeremiah, where are you at? Getting there. Some pretty shitty legs. Pretty shitty arms. The usual. What are you using? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That's really not helping us too much. Um, so... That's even worse though. So, you know. And that is actually worse as well. 
wonderful. Everything's awful. Could just give him plus four ranged. Anywhere on the map. Call in a troops unit instantly anywhere on the map. <sighs> it seems like something which would be really nice to like get, but not super important. I'd rather he have the range. <clears throat> Alright. So now we can upgrade something here. Um, probably the He's already really good at healing, so probably the um, Infestus Mechadendrite. Yeah. There we go. And that should do us. Alright. That's the same. We just looked at this one, puzzling about what the Cognition Mechadendrite can actually do. This is the same. These look to be the same, they are indeed. And again, the same. You know what? I'm going to do a quick Google on my uh, laptop over here and just work this out. Because, one, we have the time. And two, I will forget between um, between episodes. Even though I probably don't have the time to do another episode before, before I eat dinner. Because dinner's important, guys. Ah, there we go. Cognition Mechadendrite. I'll Google Auto filled it for me, so let's see. A couple of Steam community discussions that I'm looking at here. Um, okay. They generate cognition from terminals, enemies that are up or down, and have a cooldown of two. So, here's the lowdown that uh, Steam user Princess Soap has given. Um, so, the main contention here appears to be whether cognition mechadendrites or scanners are more useful. So scanners only work on structures bearing cognition and have a relatively low range, as we found out previously, and have a free turn cooldown. Whereas mechadendrites uh, generate cognition from terminals, enemies that are up or down, and have a cooldown of two, which is even with the passive that lets you get the scanners at a two turn cooldown, uh, Princess Soap recommends going with the mechadendrite. Scanners use a back slot, mechadendrites use the tendril slot. Um, where the back slots are normally used for canisters, like buffs and stuff like that. Let's see. Right, yeah, so they generate cognition regardless of whether the enemies have cognition. And I think, yes, as it as it goes up. It increases the amount of cognition we get from them. So uh, we're going to be getting those. They do have a range of course, you've got to be in melee, but they seem really useful to us. And we've got to get level 1 before we start unlocking level 2s and stuff like that. So yeah, we're definitely going to get that. Whether we do that next episode... Might as well try and work it out. So this is a high priority mission for me right now. Even though it's hard. We've done hard missions before and it hasn't been too much of a problem. Obviously we want to get the Castellan robot because I mean it's a fucking giant robot. Um, but would we rather get this instead? Anyway. These two things very useful. I'd like both of them. Um, but it's not critical. This I want it. I'm a little worried about the spider. And up here, I just... We're going to do it at some point, but it's so useless to me. Like, I really don't want either of those. 
uh, and upon the threshold does what so yeah this is important but we don't want to do it immediately because there's a lot of shit going on there so I feel like we might do this one because that'll also let us um, for a bunch of these guys like we are using both slots for things but we don't need to be using both slots for things like um, we can get rid of a lot of the cure claws and things like that and it will be just fine so I think that's what we're going to end up doing. However, that will be next episode. So in the meantime, I've been Sub. You've been yourselves. Later.